Has it ever happened where you tried to load a project and FL Studio can't find the file um, for one of the samples that you used? So it just loads and loads and loads and it can't find it. And I know where the file is, so I'm actually just going to hold the escape key and it's going to stop looking for it and it's going to give up. And now when I load this file, there's nothing in there. So there's nothing more frustrating literally than trying to load an old project and FL Studio not being able to find uh, your samples. So I'm going to show you guys a really easy way to work around this. Um, the first thing you're going to want to do, this is pretty much like a rule of thumb whenever I start a project, the first thing I do is you go to Options, Audio Settings, uh, Project, and there's a little data folder here. So you can auto create one. I usually make one myself in my own folder. So it defaults to the projects folder um, in FL Studio 12. So I'm going to make like a subfolder in the projects folder. I'll just call it uh, make new folder. I'll just say tutorial just for the sake of this, what we're doing right now. And then it's going to say, would you like to save the current project in this folder? I'll just click yes. Um, so now what happens is if I load a sample, for example, so this sample, I know where it is. Uh, it's in the trash. I was just put it there just for this demo. I'm going to load it back in. Um, but now what happens is, let's do this. Let's put this back on the desktop. The thing is, if you move files from their original source, so this was originally on the desktop, which is why FL Studio couldn't find it. If you ever move a file from its original place, FL Studio is going to have a hard time finding it. I mean, and look at the name. It named some crazy thing because I dragged it from the desktop. Long story short, all you do is go to File, Export, Project Data Files. You can do this every time you add a new file. I literally do this probably every 40 minutes. And what it does, see it's trying to locate this that I just dragged from the garbage, so now it's being weird. Um, so I'm just going to hold Escape. Let me actually just drag it from the desktop so it's not acting all goofy and just put it there so now it's the right name so what, when you go to file export project data files it's going to default to that folder you created the tutorial folder I'll click OK and now I can actually delete this off the desktop which is where the original source was and I think I could should technically speaking I'm going to save I should be able to close this open it and it should be able to find the file because I put it in that data folder so there you go. So even though I deleted this off the desktop, which was the original source, because I uh, exported the project data files to the folder that we created in here, it, it now knows where to look for any data f uh, files. So that should be a quick solve. So yeah, the first thing I do when I start a project is literally just do that so that I never have to worry about samples going missing. Thanks so much. Uh, I hope this helped.